Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Thursday Night Gaming here with GHC Esports on Twitch. Thank you so much for joining us. I am Ralph Hogeboom. I am the Esports Manager at Grace Harbor College. And with me tonight is my co-host who's been with me here from the beginning, Marcy. Marcy, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks, Ralph. I'm excited to get on the open ocean tonight. Yeah, right. So tonight we're doing Sea of Thieves. What do you know about this game? Uh, I know very little. I think I watched maybe a 30 second clip earlier today. Um, <laughs> the, uh, which are you was talking about the clip with <laughs> Captain Captain look over there? Yeah, that's a classic uh, clip. Yes, it, it was it was pretty invigorating. I could feel the, the sea <laughs> spring about, uh, which was exciting. Yeah. Um, I, I understand it's a sandbox game, right? Which kind of means uh, everyone comes in and plays. There's maybe not necessarily um, levels to the game or an endpoint, but yeah. you just work together in collaboration uh, to kind of move throughout and, and have some fun. So I'm right. looking forward to exploring it more tonight. Awesome. Good. Me too. So I've only played a handful of times. My most recent time playing this game was actually on Father's Day with my kids. Um, and nice. they're, so they're 16 and 18 and they, um, they are, what the phrase is thick as thieves, um, uh -huh. and they work really well together. And I just felt like the clumsiest oaf. So hopefully tonight I, I can improve my, my performance in the game a little bit. I see Alexa's down there in chat. Alexa, I always love seeing you. Um, can we get yes. like a shout out or pog in chat for Alexa? Um, I see some, Yay. some pirate jokes. <laughs> Who's ready to party? Is the stream rated R? Um, nor <laughs> normally, not. normally I would, I would like, you know, kick or ban people for puns, but I, you know, tonight, no, just kidding. Tonight, like we should bring out the puns in full force. <laughs> so <clears throat> yes. before we jump into the game though, I, I, I do want to say a little bit. So yes, I'm Ralph with, with Grays Ever College Esports. This fall, we are launching a comprehensive collegiate esports program from the ground up. And we are doing this specifically because it, it gives access to a lot of opportunities for students. We're talking about leadership, teamwork, perseverance under pressure, um, a lot of skills that are actually like next generation skills that, that workforces are looking for. And esports really, really helps with a lot of those soft skills. So right now I am looking for content creators. I'm looking for video editors, graphic designers, casters, and I'm looking for players, players in four competitive titles that are the biggest titles in collegiate esports right now. We're talking about League of Legends, Overwatch, Rocket League, and Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Um, we are building a diverse, non-toxic culture that really emphasizes good sporting behavior and makes sure that, that we are creating an, inclu an inclusive space for women and for underrepresented groups in gaming. Um, we've got two of our, of our 12 stations in our, our state-of-the-art esports arena that we're building that are dedicated for accessibility. They've got uh, platforms that raise. Um, we've got specialized controllers for, you know, so if you need a wheelchair to come in there and get access to it. Like, we are so excited to get access to 100% of the people that play games. Not 50%, um, you know, not 80%. Anybody who plays a game, we want to make sure that, that we can provide that environment for you. And, and I want you to join us. So please head on over to ghc.edu slash esports. You will find a, a bunch of information about our program, but you'll also find our recruiting form. And if this sounds like something you're interested in or something you might be interested in, just drop me a line. Let me know through that form and I'll reach out to you and we'll find out if maybe there's a space for you here because um, there's plenty of room and, and we want you all to come on in and participate. I think it's gonna be so much, so, so cool this fall to see this program really, really uh, take off. So, um, I, you know, that's, that's what I have to say. I, I do want to turn it over to you, Marcy, because I think you've got some important news about something coming up either this week or next week, right? Absolutely. Uh, it is this week, tomorrow, Grace Harbor College's graduation ceremony. So I know I have been talking a lot for the past several weeks about registration is open, you can get started for summer and fall. But this week especially is a time when the college community and really the greater community of Grace Harbor Pacific counties come together to celebrate our graduates. So uh, our graduation ceremony is tomorrow night on June 26th, uh, airs at 6 p.m. And this event is gonna be a virtual event. It's gonna be live streamed online um, and accessible after, after the live stream as well. So how do you find it? Go to ghc.edu slash graduation. Um, you'll see kind of um, a red button at the top. Let me go and tell you exactly what it says. 
it says click here to view the virtual graduation ceremony june 26. so tomorrow night at six you can uh log on and watch the ceremony i know myself you know i work in student services um, i'm the recruitment manager at the college i have a few work study students our student ambassadors that I've been working with um, and a number of other students that I've gotten really the pleasure of knowing students that have been really engaged on campus, whether it's as a work study student in the Welcome Center and the Student Support Center, maybe in Student Life, Diversity and Equity Center. You know, these are students that I have seen struggle, um, overcome obstacles, put one foot in front of the other. And this quarter, especially winter and spring, uh, these students have overcome what I thought would be insurmountable obstacles. So we're really excited about graduation and hope that everyone can join us. So whether you're here local or uh, afar, we're really excited to have you participate. Totally. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Um, thank you for keeping us informed on stuff that's happening on campus. Um, mostly I, I look forward to hearing about uh, fall quarter and, and you know what, what capacity we're able to, to come on back. Um, mm -hmm, with, with that said, I, I think we should, we should just jump into the game. I do want to talk a little bit more about some stuff that's happening at the college, but, uh, mm -hmm. it, it, unless there's any objections, let's cut over to, to see some Sea of Thieves. I'm excited. So we've got a couple people playing with us tonight. Um, we've actually, you know what, before, before we cut over, we should put Yard Yarm on screen. There, well, there he is. There we go. There we, we got Yarr. Yarr. It's me. So, yarr, yarr. Yarr, yarr. yarr. Folks may remember Yard Yarm <laughs> from our Overwatch event. And also you were a caster for uh, our first Smash event, not the most one, not the one we did most recently. You know it. But but the one we did uh, you know, like a month or two ago. Good times. Good times. Yeah, yeah. So well, thanks for joining us again. I'm back and I'm here to live up to the Peninsula College Pirate name by playing some Sea of Thieves. So I, I'm a who's our captain? I'm just lowering the sails without asking or being told what to do. I think did we? Oh, we let we left our buddy. Hold on. Okay, drop anchor. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. You have the you have the 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 mermaid. Yeah. You've made so, a terrible mistake and you've left our captain behind. I'm just here to steer the boat. Yep. Uh, F for more. Oh, it's space, it looks like. Okay, uh, I have a bunch of them. Is it the one that looks like a map? Okay. Uh, a handsome reward there may be on Plunder Valley across the sea. Oh, this is exciting. Right. I so I can't see anything beyond the sail. So we're flying, well, sailing blind. Okay. We're headed straight towards it. Okay. Uh, do, and we have a food chest. I probably need to load up. Awesome. Perfect. Hey, who's playing the guitar? That's me. We're just oh. doing a little sea shanty. Oh, look at the cat. Look at the cat dancing. And Marcy, that's my cat, little wizard. Oh, I love a good seafaring cat. That's beautiful. Is it oh. is it to the right or is it starboard? 
four aft part starboard it's forward back right left left right whatever it is up up kind down down left area. right left right uh is that a sunken ship it sure looks like it okay it's a very stormy night right would that be it right there to our right right who's who's steering the ship that would be me. Well, me oh, now. Okay. Do you have, do you have some so complaints many... about how rocky it is? <laughs> that's what it sounded like you were going with that. <laughs> how many people do we have uh, in oh, game geez. right now? Uh, so I fell off the ship. What what do I oh. do? I always have trouble getting out of the, the crow's nest. <laughs> right, hard bearing right. I'm feeling, oh, there's the smoke. Thank goodness. I feel I a little okay. stressed out. Adjusting. <laughs> me too. It's me and you. Half that, turn right. I hope that this mermaid really rescues you. Full straight. Well, that's kind of a scary room. It's a pirate mermaid. They are. All right. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to get us angled a bit to the right so we don't dead on crash into the island. Wind is against us, so it's going to be a bit slow going. Do we... But we're holding stable. When do we pull sails? Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful night. That's nice out, isn't it? Yeah. And cleared out quite nicely. Do we do any celestial navigation? Uh, so you, you, you look up, you look up at the stars, you figure out which one's the brightest and you completely ignore it and just look at the map. <laughs> oh, work that uh, off to our off to our right. I see. Oh, barrels in the wall. Ooh, first try. What's that? Cannibals. Cannonballs. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we got some. I, I like that you went just went straight to like flesh eating. <laughs> A hateful bounty. Well, we're school. going to a secluded island. Wow, my my hook accuracy is on point right now. Don't even, don't even front. Can we get some poggers in the chat for that, please? I'm that never this good. good. Um, I do see that the card kid is complaining a little bit about the seasickness. I, I'm super sorry. Uh, you just got to get your sea legs. Couple more sailors, and you'll be a, like a hard and tough pirate, like I am. Yeah, you know, you'll get there. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm just standing around on deck doing nothing. Okay, how can I contribute? My map from earlier. Did I just shoot you? If so, I'm super sorry. Do we have a second clue? Like All right. Well, I'm gonna drop our anchor. Did we not drop anchor? No, just dropped it. Um, I apologize for not helping with that. Well, lowering the anchor is the fast one. You just let it go. Mm. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Don't don't shoot the one with the explosive barrel. I learned that last time I played. Yeah, I've got I've got an eye of reach, so I'm gonna stand back and snipe. What's that light? I I am just attached to shiny things. Oh, that's that's not good. Okay, we got some skeletons. Ooh. I, I am quick scoping these bony boys. But an eye of reach might not be the move here. I'm going to pull the rowboat. 
Let's save the dog. That's a pig. Oh, shoot. That was the oh. explosive barrel that uh, I wasn't supposed to do anything. Bacon. Oops. Could somebody revive me? That would be really great. Okay, I'm switching my gun. Did you just yourself up, bro? I did. I see that Alexis oh, no. throwing the tentacles in chat. Yeah, that's appropriate. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the reviving. Uh, I am just about to die again. <laughs> I died again. Sorry, I got hit. Could, uh, could somebody bail me out again? Thank you for the revive. So people who are watching the stream, you can hear Mike, uh, you can yard yarm, you can hear me, you can hear Marcy, but DQ911 is not on stream. We didn't get that set up ahead of time. So um, if there's a gap in the conversation, it's because uh, he's talking, we're hearing him, but you're not. We will work on getting that set up so we have all of our players on voice chat for next time. So are you, wow. were you just checking those barrels? Did somebody else stash them here? Okay. Okay, I'm going to get this chest loaded up into our rowboat. If I can figure if I can figure out how to play a video game. They're a waste of time, don't do it. <laughs> did you get the second clue on the map? Or on the We did, but I didn't um so he read it and um is telling me what to do, but let's let's actually pull that up. Um because yeah, pirates attack or reading this uh, map of clue you'll see if that's wrecked robot on the west bh is standing b okay so basically go to the west that sounds skeletony yeah that is skeletony mm -hmm. uh don't shoot me sure. any others just that one just that one i'm coming down i um how do you know which way is west? Here's a compass. Is a compass? Oh, look at that. What, are you trying to kill me? <laughs> so mean. Ooh, get quick scoped. At the stone Oh, do we? Call it it. Oh my goodness, I'm almost dead. Uh, ah, thank you. <laughs> stone Guardian of Canyon the Pass. Stone Guardian of Canyon Pass. Yeah. Prove your worth. Six paces west by southwest. Are you ready to break the earth? Oh, we gotta dig some Stone up. Guardian of Canyon Pass. Okay, Stone Guardian of Canyon Pass now. It's a... Uh, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's west by southwest. <laughs> Somebody's saying, look at the intensity in Yard Yarm. Uh, <laughs> this is the Stone Guardian. It's okay. somewhere... So... Yeah, I see what you're talking about. So standing at the Stone Guardian. Skeletons, look out, folks. I'm out of ammo. I'll dig. Oh. Hi, <laughs> D treasure. Yep. Lots, of, lots of treasure. So, you know, um... Oh, oh. Ralph, I actually can't hear any of the game noise, and someone just let me know that I don't think the stream can hear the game noise either. Ah. So our producer should be running that out to the A. Oh. Uh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Skeletons can't swim, right? 
Are you about to hit a rock? You about to hit a rock? Oh. oh no. I was like, what is that hand doing? But is that a bullet in there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Do we have audio on stream now? Now if we got audio and stream. Oh. Game audio. I don't hear any. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in chat. Yeah, I wonder if that's coming from my end. Um so settings, we are sending out loop back. Yeah, just got confirmation. The folks aren't hearing it. Oh, well, that's not good. How are you supposed to get the full experience if you can't hear my sea shanties? <laughs> yeah, that is the important part. Apparently, these skeletons make sounds. They do. Um, is there a way for me to restart the game and then rejoin the party? OK. Uh, well, let me see. Um, so I'm just going to let our producer know. I'm going to take a look here at our audio source and see if something is visible here. OK, set for a hard right. Uh, I probably, oh, you, you're bringing me aboard. <laughs> Thanks. I told you you'd be carrying me. I didn't mean literally, but I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, you can pick people up at the harpoon. I forgot about that. OK, breaking turn. Bearing direct east, lowering sail. Okay, so can anyone uh, tell me what are the different names of like crew members to operate and run a tall ship? Aren't there different names? <laughs> we got one negative. Yard yard. Well, you know any names? GQ's the captain because he's the one running the show, uh -huh. and he's also got the tallest and nicest hat out of the three of us. <laughs> I would assume that I'm some variety of first mate because I have the responsibility of steering the ship and I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ralph is a deckhand. He's there. We believe in him. We appreciate mm. him. And he helps a little bit. <laughs> I love it. I, I eat most of the bananas. What's the name of this ship? Do we just steal a ship? ship? Commandeer it. Well, okay. I just watched I, Starship Troopers yesterday, so my vote's for the Roger Young. So I I do think, so we just hit out on open sail. Um, I do think getting the audio is an important part of this game. I, I'm going to say, let's just take like a couple of minute intermission break while I restart my game and reconnect with the crew. Hey, <laughs> DQ, would you like this? Uh, wow. Would you like this, this musket? <laughs> Sorry, oh, I, no. I apologize for threatening you. <laughs> No, um, we're just going to take a short intermission and see if I can get this audio fixed. I will disconnect and then rejoin the crew. And when we come back, we hope to have some audio for you all. So uh, please do stick around. We've got more adventures on the open sea, but we're going to take just a break. Thanks so much. We'll catch you in just a minute.
Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for standing with us. Folks in chat, are you hearing the sounds of this tropical island where we're anchored? Uh, it looks like it's working on our end. Yeah, haha, -ha, intermission. <laughs> Thanks, Alexa. So yeah, let us know how the audio is. I don't audio. Um, oh, but they do. Okay, Central Island. To the A channel. I think that's this one. Okay, I'm I'm seeing folks in chat saying yes, they get audio. Thank goodness, because the audio is an important part of the game. Uh, awesome. Yeah. How do I? <laughs> Is that you? No, that's a skeleton. Yeah, bring it on. Get down here, Pong. Okay, so what's the next, next objective? Do we have, uh, this is being on this island? Yep, we're getting more treasure. More treasure. And DQ and I have already found it, and we are under attack by skeletons. Be gone! Back to the grave from what you came. Pretty island. Mm -hmm. Marcy, have you ever been to a tropical island? Um, yes, I have. Um, I lived in Miami, Florida, for five years, and while I was there, I went to the Florida Keys. I suppose you can call those tropical islands. Um, went to the Bahamas once. Wow, Beautiful. My brother got married in the Florida Keys. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Do not envy them this time of year that it is so hot. Uh, it is so humid air. <laughs> it's just humid air to breathe in. I have never been. The um, the closest I've been to a tropical island is uh, when I was in Canada. And you know what? It's just not the same. Definitely wow, okay. That was, that was back in 2013, so that was a few years ago. Also beautiful. Got a multi-kill on those skeletons. So I, I want to explain what I did there. Um, I ran away from the fight, not because I was a coward, but because I, I was worried there were more skeletons in the ocean, and I went to go fight them so they wouldn't hurt my friends. It's called a tactical yeah. retreat. Yeah, so I was, brave. I was, go I was running away from that fight to go fight a bigger fight somewhere else, but it turns out there were no skeletons in the ocean, and, um, Or fight, or... Yeah. It's a true personal sacrifice. It totally was. Okay, wind is um, with us. Sails forward. See, chat, chat's with me. Alexa understands. <laughs> yes, we um, are, we are all here, I think. Uh, Alexa is asking what system is play played on. Mm -hmm. We're playing on PC, um, but it's also available on Xbox. Cross compatible so I too. Thought I is cross platform compatible. I believe so. I'm nearly 100% oh, sure. Oh, that's super cool. So one of the cool things about it is um, left. tropical paradise of Canada. Yeah. <laughs> um, one so of the right. one of the cool things about this is. Uh, I was able to get the game initially. There was an Xbox trial for just a dollar. You get access to the Xbox Live Pass for PC for a month. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I was able to try it out. Um, you know, my whole family got it. Basically, everybody's a Kelly. Um, and DQ says just recently it was it was half off, and so I did. I made the purchase. I converted from the from the subscription plan to uh, actually owning the game for just 20 bucks. So I, I picked it up when it was a uh, really good deal. Um, it's worth it. I, I think it's a lot of fun. It's just it's good, goofy pirate fun. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm pretty happy that we're not actually experiencing seasickness, though, because that is something I experience for sure. Oh, Ralph, you are asking me earlier, um, what if I've ever been on a tall ship before? I can say that I have. Uh, and I'm curious to know, have any of you guys, or maybe anyone watching tonight, ever been on a tall ship? Let's see, see what we got. I've been on... What was that? 
Um, yeah, keep going. Are you talking about the Lady Washington? I mean, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Yes, yes absolutely. So I'm, I'm from Grace Harbor. I grew up in Aberdeen. And um, I went to Robert Gray Elementary, which Grace Harbor is named after the explorer Robert Gray, right? And when I was in elementary school, we changed our mascot from the Wolverines to the explorer. So definitely oh. Robert Gray. Oh, I need to get look over there! Get uh, up there! There's some other players in a much larger ship. Oh, where are the cannonballs? Where are the cannonballs? Um... Oh, okay. It's, it's an AI one then. Alright. I cannot find cannonballs. Um... Are they coming back? Yes. Uh, I, I will help out. I need to get some food. Okay. Get on it. Loading, loading, loading. Where are the wood barrels? Okay, okay I'm. What? what? Why, why am I dancing? Oh no. Okay, uh. Okay, oh, okay. You're, you're doing the damage. Hey, wait. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, same. Oh, crap. Did that empty oh, my bucket? Yes, we are. Quite we're a bit. Uh. Uh. They keep knocking me around. I can't repair. Yeah, I can't even find the stairs. It's not looking that great. I, I'm, kick, I'm kicking us right. Bailing. I'm bailing, Captain. As long as the water keeps rising, it's really easy to get to. Oh, no. Conducting repairs? I kicked us to a hard right so we weren't a beam of them. That was our first mistake. I will keep bailing until you tell me to switch to repairs. Okay, I'm working on repairs. On keep bailing. I got this. Aye, aye. Okay, it so looks like... So, when uh, I went Washington, it wasn't the most exciting, thankfully. Uh, <laughs> I would have <laughs> not. <laughs> and if uh, the folks watching haven't had a chance already, definitely look up the Lady Washington. She comes uh, back to harbor every now and again. And I think at Splash Festival, 4th of July, they've been doing um, tickets to watch the fireworks show from the Lady Washington for the past several years. I don't know if they're going to do that this year. Um, I think that plans have changed, um, just like all other plans have changed recently, but really cool opportunity to go check it out if you haven't yet. Are we out of cannonballs? Gotcha. Okay, they're okay. coming around again. I've got extra cannonballs. Impact. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot like the Lady Washington, actually. I think we killed a lot of skeletons when I was on board. Yeah? That would be pretty fun to do, like, a haunted tour. Hey, bearing... <laughs> pulling us far right, far right. We are in a bad spot. So are we talking about adjusting sails? Oh, why are they up? Okay. So are we trying to run away? Do we want the sail down? Okay. 
Alright, all right, I'm putting the sail back up. Okay, push nuts left. Are we coming around against starboard or port? They are right in front of us. So now we are in pursuit. The, the goal is we're going to lose the Okay, they're, they're breaking to their right. They're coming up on our right. Yeah, I have no idea what the giant Voldemort skull cloud is. Yeah, I'm a little... <laughs> Somebody in chat says, where are our face masks? No. Uh, I'm assuming you mean the pirate. <laughs> Because a good pirate always observes social distancing. Okay, they're to our right. First volley. Hit. Whoa! Good aim, good aim. Out of cannonballs, reloading. Raising sail. Raise sails. Force sail raise. Oh, they're sinking. Uh, wait, how do I do the, the dance? What's, how do I do a pirate dance? I think it's like a... It's a pig. Here, I'll, I'll, pl I'll play us a victory song. Drop a rowboat. Uh, wait. Am I raising anchor? Am I yeah, you can just let it go. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna drop the drop the rowboat, and we can just. Oh no, it's right there. Never mind. We just swim to it. Okay, I'm gonna adjust this right. For the half turn. Let me know when to drop anchor. I can hit the F key. On captain's call. Perfect aim. Less than perfect aim. Tuning it on board. Oh yeah, to heck with the megalodon. That thing can just go die. I do not like dealing with the megalodon. It is scary. So do we just we just got all the loot from that ship? No. Awesome. Let's go, let's go cash out. Let's go cash out. Well, if we want to set sail to an outpost, um, I, I do think it might make sense to take another short break. I know I've got a couple things I need to share with some folks, and I know Marcy does too, so if you want to um, set sail, we can do our ship stuff and then maybe turn it over to Marcy for right, a, Captain a update on, on some college stuff. Sounds great. Hard left. Full turn. Awesome. So... Uh, well, they take it. Oh, I, I don't know. Yeah, take it away. I need no, some confirmation. Nope, you're good, Marcy. Take it me? away. Yes, okay, good. I had all kinds of... Okay. <laughs> so, um... So, as I mentioned, this Friday is graduation at Grace Harbor College. We're really excited about it, but there's still time to register for summer and fall quarters as well. So, if you didn't know, summer quarter begins on Monday, January 6th. That means that next week is really the last chance that you have to register for classes. Now, you might be asking yourself, yes, I want to register for classes. Uh, maybe you have some prereqs that you want to finish or you want to get started into a new academic program, then 
you know, maybe you're wondering how you're going to pay for college. Well, we have two awesome opportunities for students who are eligible for financial aid. Our, the Pell Grant is a federal grant and the Washington College Grant is a grant from Washington State that now helps students fund summer quarter. So if you're interested in enrolling in classes starting on July 6, there are financial aid opportunities available. In order to get started at the college, it's actually a pretty simple process. It's four steps. You apply to the college, um, you complete your financial aid application. Maybe that means you take uh, the FAFSA or the WAFSA, complete one of those. Then you assess your skills, whether that means you take the college placement test, maybe you use uh, your high school transcript, maybe use previous college credit, and then you get registered for classes. You schedule an entry registration appointment with one of our advisors. We help you get into your first quarter and set you up for success for the rest of your, your time at Grace Harbor College. So that process, a lot of students actually complete it uh, in one or two days. You can definitely do it next week and get ready to start classes um, on the Monday after next on July 6th. So again, how do you get access to that financial aid funding? Go and fill out the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or the WASFA, that's the Washington State Application for Financial Aid. How do you get access to those applications? A great place to go is fafsa.gov. And if you're looking for the WASA application, you can go to um, the washasac.wa.gov. And that's where we're going to find the. Um, so, along with registration for summer and fall quarters, a few other reminders, we actually are going to have information sessions all throughout the summer. So just because this current academic year is ending, it doesn't mean that the college becomes, you know, goes to sleep and everyone takes the summer off. No, 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 that's not the case. Um, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to start to have some information sessions for some of our academic programs, including a new academic program, a hospitality and ecotourism degree. So please be on the lookout for those. We'll make announcements um, in GHC News as well as on our Facebook pages. So if you haven't already, make sure you like and follow all of GHC's social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, one other thing I wanted to remind you guys about was the Bachelor of Applied Science in Organizational Management degree. That application closes on next Tuesday, the 30th, yes. The 30th is a Tuesday. So um, there's still time to apply for the Bachelor of Applied Science and Organizational Management degree. If you didn't know, Grace Harbor College has three four-year degrees. So organizational management is one, teacher education, and forest resource management. There's still time to get in, get in for the organizational management degree. And those classes, um, you can start your prereqs over the summer and in fall quarter, the first year of the cohort will be entirely online. So if you've been interested in expanding your education, maybe you just finished a two-year degree and you want to continue on to a four-year degree, maybe you've had your two-year degree for a number of years now and you've been working and you want to you know, continue on to continue your education, maybe grow your career, it's an excellent opportunity. The OM program is really designed to help folks take on leadership positions within organizations. So a lot of folks who are business owners or maybe working their way up in an organization that they've had for a while, or maybe, um, you know, maybe they're looking to start something new or step into a new career. It's a great opportunity to grow your leadership skills and learn a little bit about business and uh, definitely leading others. So if you haven't already, please go check it out. All this info can be found at ghc.edu. And for OM, go ahead and just search for our bachelor's programs. I'm curious to see now where our ship is at. Can we come back and see if you guys have made landing? Oh, look at that. We're right at the docks. We are at the docks and we are um, trying to sell stuff. So it's the guy in the tent that I take the chests to to sell our loot. So I'm loading up our uh, our rowboat with just about everything. 
Um, elderly woman on the left. Shelly? Ah, okay, gotcha. Uh, sell crate of volcanic stone. Okay, yeah, uh, apparently we're, we're selling loot, Marcy. Uh, Alright. It's, it's not all... What are we gonna all... buy with this? Well, yeah, actually, what can we buy? You can buy, like, cool guns, right? A pet? We have a cat, right? Our adorable Siamese uh, cat. We don't have a cat. I have a cat. This is Little Wizard. Little Wizard. Yes, this is my cat, Little Wizard. And Little Wizard, um, there. I just I hold him out to be able to see things and then put him out there on the rail. And Little Wizard, the most important job that Little Wizard has is to dance when I play some music. So. <laughs> I'm moving all of the chests up onto the, uh, whatchamacallit, the dock. We have another cat! Yeah, DQ has a chest as well. Or has a cat as well. But do whatever you need to do with the loot. As classic pirates, we're playing with cats. I mean, that's, yeah. that's basically what pirates are known for, right? I have a purple Absolutely. monkey here helping me. I love me. this cat's cat! Hey, little wizard. It's amazing. I have a friend that, um lives on the Wishka, and his cat goes out on his boat with him. He loves it. Well, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, if you didn't know, cats like boats, apparently. Some of them do. Do we have all of the chests? No, it looks like we have a few more. Skeleton captain's chest, where does that go? Oh, I have such a hard time with ladders. Okay, we all do. <laughs> uh, you know, I didn't check. How do you put a chest down? Uh, press X. Yeah, totally. Should be. Yeah, it looks empty. for a hard left turn. No. Mine I should be X. Any rowboat be used. I just see people jumping out of the ship and swimming to the ladder. Stow drop. Yeah, stow drop default bind is X. Yeah, we we yeah, there we go. purple monkey. He doesn't have a name. He's just a purple monkey. East. Bearing. Sorry, east, northeast.
We can. Direct north, straightening. Loot. All right, well, while we're getting back out on the open ocean, uh, I did want to share a resource with you guys. Um, I don't know if you've heard of them before, of this really cool resource. It's called uh, College Knowledge Materials or the College Knowledge Project. Partnership between the Washington Student Achievement Council. Um, the Community Center for Educational Results, the Washington Student Achievement Council, and the Puget Sound College and Career Network. So it's this awesome team of higher education professionals, folks that work at colleges and in the community. And I kid you not, um, this resource is, it's amazing. I'm going to go ahead and post it in chat right now. Um, Oh, it's a pretty ugly looking link. Sorry about that, but go and check it out. Um, the, this document, uh, it's in how many languages? I think um, one, two, three, five different languages, English, Russian, Somali, Spanish, and Vietnamese. Um, you can go over it by chapter. So learning about college and career, getting ready for college, the college bound scholarship, paying for college, applying for college, and enrolling in college. You can research it by grade. So they have packets for ninth graders, 10th graders, 11th graders, and 12th graders. Um, you can just look at individual handout pages. So like benefits of going to college, college and career connection, types of colleges, all about apprenticeships. Um, I'm not gonna list everything here because it's like a full page of just really college going material. So um, whether you're currently in uh, college, maybe you're a high school student, um, or even if you're a parent, um, if you know someone who is, you know, between the ages, I would say, of fifth grade to age 70, even older, there's no limit on college, uh, please send this resource out. Um, it's a really cool link to share super relevant for um, anyone who's thinking of going to college or, you know, a friend or family member. Uh, had a reminder too, I wanted to say um, thank you so much to Vision X for coming and being supportive of us. Um, we really, really appreciate it. takes many hands uh, to put on a production like this, and there's absolutely no way that we would be successful without all of you. So, thank you everyone who's been a part of and helping me through the night. Um, okay, so Yard Yard, can you tell me a little bit about where we're going now? Um, well, let's see. Oh, I can't hear you actually. Hello? Okay. Yes, no, I can. Vol volume is back over here too, so I'm sorry about that. I, speak to God, uh, I, had, to, I had to mute for a bit. Hard I'm Northwest, sorry. affirmative, sir. Okay. Yeah, Mass. Well, nobody asked, but I better climb up in the crow's nest and take a look around. You might want to do that. Okay, hey, hard northwest. I make no promise about not falling out. Um, Alexa, do you do you have an Xbox? Like, there, I I think Alexa, you would make a fantastic pilot. Oh yeah, we got a suggestion to ring the bell, Ralph, while you're up there. Oh no, I couldn't possibly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that makes us audible to, um... Can I stop it from ringing? No, you've doomed us to a loud ringing phase. Because now other people can hear us, right? Uh-oh.
See, now that you say that, the Megalodon's gonna come up out of nowhere. I I only I only rang it once, maybe twice. I don't know why it rang so much. I just, are you? Is there a bell down there? I see. Okay, I was like, wait, what? What am I doing wrong? Oh no, uh, so, I, oh, I didn't fall off into the ocean. Whew. What are you doing with this little wizard down there? Oh, there he is. Look, I have a monkey. Monkey? Monkey! Him there. Someone said it's Peter. Been all with me. I was several minutes ago when you were when you were talking. I just computer not like it. It's ah. Hey, I see Oakku's in chat. Hey, uh, how's it going? Oh, Ayaku is actually um, a I think a, a GHC alum um, and was most recently president of the gaming club that we have on campus. So uh, good to see you in chat. Hey, ma'am. Yeah. Awesome. Oh. Uh, I'm here. I'm in the middle of the ship, doing nothing useful. If you've got, oh. we have another song besides Happy Birthday. Okay, hold on. Yeah, this is a good one. <laughs> Ayaku says just finished his last final. What was it in? Are we talking like a super hard one? Uh, or like, you know, a class that you could kind of cope with? Like, what final was it? How do you think you did? I think this might have been his last quarter. Physics 3 was kind of rough, but he thinks he made it. Okay. Are you graduating? Oh, good. Yeah, there's a question. Is that engineering physics 3? Final quarter yep. at GHC. Awesome. John Hope Hillier. See you on the graduation screen. That's awesome. Uh, Ayakua, am I, am I clear Ooh. to disclose your name to DQ, my sailing partner here? A <laughs> license plate holder and everything. Awesome. It's official. You got the alum license plate. Uh, come on then. It's official. Uh, it's, it's Jonathan Abrams. Do you know him? Yeah, cool. And DQ, what's... I, I know you as DQ911. What's, what's your name? If you know. Ryan Cole, the kid who hides out in the back of the class. Always has a blue coat and a baseball hat. So uh, now you two have connected. Um, I guess we could say you connected online, but really you connected via Ralph. So that's your communication yes. method is via Ralph. Not a super reliable communication method. Okay, wow. Well, uh, I'm sorry, Captain. I've been spacing out. What are we doing? I'm Mr. Rock. Little lizard, what are you doing? Go back on the ship, cat. What? Little lizard. Well, we got a Ryan and a Pog. We gotta go save him. Wait. DQ says, uh, yes, he remembers you, um, I, come on, come on, little guy, oh, oh already found the box, are you okay, oh my god, yeah, I had the rest what of my kids, yeah. right, <laughs> priorities, oh, my um, heart. DQ, uh, Jonathan says, uh, Ryan, Pog Champ, <laughs> now I'm getting some, some respect for a little bit in chat. Honestly, I kind of want to let chat name my uh, my purple monkey. Ah, the, um, yeah, 
I didn't know how to run. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So, I gotta chat, hit the water. Yes, I need a revive. <gasps> little Ooh. wizard's here with me. Okay, we gotta save little wizard and maybe Ralph if he survives. <laughs> yeah, does little wizard die if you die? I didn't make it. So, now I'm on the ferry of the dam, Marcy, and I will have a chance okay. to, to break through the door uh, to come back to from the afterlife back into real life. What is different about this death where you ended up on this ferry, whereas you didn't before? Bef yeah, before, if your teammates get to you in, within a certain amount of time, they can revive you. You're not fully mm -hmm. dead. They stabilize you. And it's just a quicker way to get back into the action. This would be a scary tour on the Lady Washington, Fairy of the Dead. So, um, yeah, it would. That would be great. Uh, who, who was it, Yardyarm or DQ, that was saying you wanted Chat to name your monkey? Me. Yardyarm. Yard Yard. So, Chat, did you hear that? Um, there, there has been a call for uh, name suggestions for Yardyarm's monkey. I would recommend Monkey Make Monkey Face. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm asking the internet to name something. That doesn't yeah, I mean, that's what you're going to get. Um, at least I know Great Harbor Esports isn't going to go for some of the more 4chan <laughs> yeah. options. Yeah, no, we keep it classy. Mm Uh, is there more to do here? Did I show up when all the hard work was done? <laughs> oh, found the other one. Uh... Okay. Oh, I had four. We found two. Here, chicken. Looks like a fancy chest. Yeah. Here, I'll keep digging. Chest discovered by DQ. I'm going to dug it up. Oh, oh no. There's a barrel coming. To just be on hand for skeletons after every chest, basically. Oh, so I just did an interesting thing. Um, Ralph, you may not know this. Yeah, I'll, wait for, I'll wait for the skeletons to clear out. So, I've got a bucket. No, no, no. I've had puke thrown on me before. You can, yeah, you're okay. I'm I, glad I you know you, about I that. I played with my kids. They threw, they threw puke you know on me every that. chance they get. <laughs> I ate raw chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I feel horrified. It also happens you know when what? you drink too much grog. They are, they are, are great, great kids. <laughs> I'm horrified about... We have another chest to grab over here. Throwing puke okay. in the game. Okay, so the last one. Alright, what's the next thing? Oh. I talked the skeleton menace. Yeah. Get out of my face. Here comes another 
skeleton, I got you. Um... So, another island that has treasure? I think we do one more. Um, is that- whose ship is that? What's going on over there? Mm. Mm -hmm. No, that ship that's sailing by right now. Oh! Uh... Um? On the east? It looks- it looks like a pirate, or like a skeleton ship. No. It has tattered black sails and three masts, and it's sailing away. That's a galleon! They're sailing away right now. But three masts. Do we need to run? <laughs> well, or, you know, considering me, it might be even worse than two. They may be coming around for our ship, aren't they? Uh, I didn't quite make it on board, but you guys right, go on without we'll, me. Have fun. You'll figure it out. Very right. Cannon fire. Are they so, um, can I can I come with you? <laughs> yeah, judge. Jump in, jump into the water and get the mermaid. Does bro. anyone notice? Oh, we we noticed. Listen. Marcy, all, all essential personnel are on the ship, I can assure you. <laughs> Is Lil Wizard on there? Lil Wizard will come with me. I, he'll be he'll be fine. You okay. can't So Stump, BQ, Monkey McMonkey Fates and myself are on the ship. Um with the, with the COVID-19 outbreak, uh, pi the pirate crews have mandated that only essential personnel remain on the ship and everyone else should stay home and social distance. So we're leaving Ralph on the island. Are you joking? Oh, oh mother what, what's of going on? Mary. Uh, Megalodon is a giant shark, and we were about to get our butts eaten. Where? Uh, what can I do to help? Cannonballs or sail movement? I'll try to keep the sails moving efficiently. Beep! Uh, mermaid. Bring him in, you said? Hi, Captain. Four sails raised, Captain. Do you want me Sails to drop up. anchor? Megalodon is going away. Was that a lower anchor, Captain? So is my dance emote working right now? Okay. Okay. Um, actually, uh, if our production assistant could uh, cut the camera over to me or to the double cam, I do want to take a second and just talk a little bit about uh, the esports program. Thank you so much. So, um, one of the things I talked about at the very beginning of the program was that we're building a diverse, non toxic environment where we emphasize good sporting behavior. And um, that is absolutely true and that is absolutely important. So, we've got a couple of commitments that we've made as far as the program is concerned. One is to the Women in Gaming Initiative, where we make sure to prioritize not just access for women, but support for women that are in our program. Um, there is ample evidence, not just in news headlines, but a research paper that talks about some of the difficulties that women face in competitive gaming or just in the gaming industry in general. It is certainly dominated by males. And, um, and I think there's something that we can do about that by saying that this is, this is a space specifically for everyone that's available for everyone. And the way that we do that is by making sure that we, uh, we take care to make it a space that is inviting and inclusive, not just in our policies, but in our behavior and in, and in our language as well. Um, I, I think 
one of the things that I find difficult as somebody who's actively recruiting teams is knowing that because there is such discrimination against women, against girl gamers, basically, which is, uh, I'll talk about girl gamers, our, our girl gamers in just a minute, it's a subreddit. Um, it makes it more difficult for me because there's a huge chunk, 45% of the population that is discriminated against or discouraged from playing in games um, so that I don't have access to that talent as, as somebody who's trying to assemble these esports teams. And um, that is super frustrating to see. Uh, so there are some really, really fantastic resources. Oh, sorry, let me finish talking about some of the other things besides women in gaming. Um, we're also uh, committed to AnyKey, which is an organization that seeks to remove barriers to other people participating in gaming, underrepresented groups, uh, you know, women specifically. So we have taken the Good Luck Have Fun pledge, uh, which you can find at AnyKey.org. Um, we've got a poster that's going up in our arena, and I, I think that stuff is so important to having a, a solid well-run program, a professionally run program for esports that um, that gives our students access to all the opportunities that we think esports is capable of bringing. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is is ways that you can get involved. If this if this sounds like new information to you, then I think now is the time for you to do some self-education or to do some research. So I mentioned the subreddit R Girl Gamers. Um, I've, I've been a member of that subreddit for a long time. It's a really great place, especially if you are in that position of privilege. If, if, you're, if you're a white dude, um, lurk on that subreddit and just read, take in some of that information and, and find out a little bit more about what it's like as a woman gamer on the internet today. Another really good resource is Anita Sarkeesian and Feminist Frequency. I've been a donator to the Fem Freak uh, community to their Patreon and supported a lot of the, the content that they've produced because I think Anita and the, and the others that are there in her group are really doing a lot to challenge some of the tropes and some of the barriers that people experience in gaming. Uh, they most recently just, just launched a 1-800 line where you can report when there's been an incident of abuse. What's fascinating to me is that we haven't previously, we, everybody, as a culture, have not collected information about abuses online. Individual game companies get abuse reports, um, but there is no cohesive group that's sort of tracking this and saying, okay, is the problem getting worse? Is it getting better? What can we do that's sort of measuring those metrics? And Feminist Frequency and Anita Sarkeesian have really started doing that, and I think that it's absolutely fantastic. I am so glad to send cool. a, a chunk of money there every month and I will continue to do so because they're just doing fantastic work. So uh, there, there are a lot more ways that you can get involved in helping make gaming available for everybody, but uh, GHC Esports is absolutely committed to that. So if that's something that you're interested in, you wanna help, get out and push, then get in touch with me, go to ghc.edu slash esports and, uh, and, and let's connect. Um, I, I wanna work with you and make this, make gaming a better place for everybody. And we can start doing that today. So uh, can I, you know, and I, I think now I'm actually gonna get back on the ship because I hear noises and the ship is moving. Um, yeah, it looks like my crew has abandoned me. Uh, producer, can we cut back over? I, oh, no. they, they jumped off the ship and didn't throw away the anchor. So I think I'm freaking oh. out all by myself. <laughs> The ship was moving. Yeah, I just dropped the anchor. <laughs> I was in the middle of talking and the ship started started drifting out to sea. I thought, oh no, I'm in trouble. Uh, oh, is there somebody on there? You think somebody might have snuck aboard? Okay, nothing is leaking. I don't see anybody hiding in here. I, I can tell you that I've watched my kids play this game and they sneak on board other people's ships and hide for a really long time and then kill everybody while they're not paying attention. <laughs> yeah, they're terrible. <laughs> they're also really, really fun to watch. They have so much fun. Uh, yeah, I don't see anybody in the hole. There's a bunch of ghost ships kind of floating around out there, though. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we will be wrapping up pretty quick, but um, I probably should come and help. Awesome. Well, uh, I just I grabbed the robo. Should I go get it? Should be fine. It's only one. 
we're about halfway there. I have I to have say, to you say two are very very tired. What can I say? A life of a life of nautical crime is from here. Any efficiency or anything like that? Shifted quite a bit. Yes, yes, so what, what is that? that? Yard, yard, what, what is, is that thing? thing? Blue wing, gold, 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 gold. Oh, that's uh, the new update. That we got you, an you echo. Can tell you more about that. What's going on? Is the echo still happening? Uh, does somebody have their their speakers turned on? Said it's when when I am quiet, but I just had a second where um, my stream was lagging really a lot. Okay, everybody on VMix, if you could just refresh the browser, the browser window. Oh no. Do that. And that 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 hopefully will clear up the window. Yeah, how did that how did that go? Oh, it says good now. Okay. Yard, 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 chance to, to refresh yes. the something. Yes, I do. I don't hear anybody. Hello? Did you drop out of Discord? Hello? I, I, I'm actually. Just... Yeah, yeah, now it's just you. Yeah, we're gonna take the long way around this island because I don't want to go towards those ghost ships at all. Yard echoing too. Oh, oh. I yeah, I, re I refreshed the VMix window. Okay, I've done a refresh. I've done a refresh. Is that anything better? Yeah. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you, Alexa, for doing sound checking for us. What? Why? Why? Why are we drifting? Sound left. Something in Discord sounds okay. like might be the issue. We're taking the we're taking the long way around north to evade the ghost ships. automatically determine input sensitivity. Set it to like negative 48 or whatever. Let's see if that works. Okay. Am I still echoing? Uh, okay, so Marcy was picking it up. Marcy, can you go to your Discord and adjust the automatic sensitivity? Turn the automatic sensitivity off and set that slider to something like negative 45. In Discord. Oh, go, uh, yeah, producer, do you want to go ahead and take her through it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I am absolutely. bailing water out of the water and out of the air. 
have lived in repair. Still getting it, still getting it, still getting it, okay. Yeah, I think you have to reset your V-Mix, uh, browser tab, maybe. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, do we want to fight off this ship, uh, before we sell off? Oh, so let's, let's circle back around and get that loot. Do you want me to lower or raise sails? Good I work. Know. That's two ship kills for me, boys. Yo ho ho ho. ho. A pirate's, a life, pirate's for life for me. Uh, I'm, echoing, I'm again. echoing again. Oh, hold on. Hold There's, on. Something, There's off something off to our right. To our right. <laughs> you mean, you mean, starboard, starboard. Yeah, whichever. Yeah, whichever. Probably gonna have to raise anchor again. Because the loot's going to be a little bit further. Together. Well, there's a bunch of barrels directly behind us. We want to get those too. All right, let's anchor up then. It's so strange that we're getting that echo is coming back. Oh. Okay. Let me know when you're ready for anchor up. So, quick sound check, am I echoing chat? Okay. Let me know. Dropping anchor, get us a bit left, and we can hop in. Alexa, Card Kid, and A Glass, thank you so much for the, for the sound checks. We hear better. Okay. Better is in you're not getting echo now. Uh, it sounds like we might be good. Um, yeah, it's like we're gearing up for a hard 180. Okay. Uh, this, uh, thank you so much, people, for, for sticking with us while we troubleshoot an Echo. There are so many different connections that come in for running uh, a game night remotely with remote hosts and different people coming in. And, you know, we're figuring this out because we're, we're building this program uh, from scratch. So, uh, we, we could absolutely use your help if this is something you're interested in, this kind of uh, broadcast production stuff. I am absolutely looking for, for more people to get involved. So if you're interested even in just wanting to know more about how it works, please do get in touch at ghc.edu slash esports, or hit me up on the Discord. You can join our Discord at ghc.edu slash Discord. And I am I'm BitPost on Discord, BitPost number 8899 is my Discord name. Um, send me a friend request or just join the server and send me a DM or talk to me in the general tab. Um, I, I would love to work with you. If you've got an interest in this stuff, I'll put you to it. Yep, I right, see it. Oh, so that's where we're headed. So, one thing that I've noticed is, is people that tend to play this game when they get done they torch their shit. Is that, is that, that <laughs> what people tend to? Okay. Okay. That, so, uh, yeah, I'm for in. people so. who didn't hear that, uh, DQ is suggesting that we all get in the crow's nest, we play a specific song, and then we scuttle the ship, and so we're playing the song as the ship goes down. And I like that. Um, in, in, unless chat tells us to do something different, either setting the ship on fire or going down with the ship. Chat, what do you want to see? Do you want to see us torch the ship or scuttle it while we're on the crow's nest playing it while it sinks? Let me guess, that song is uh, Be Calm, isn't it? Yeah. Sounds like that's a yes, the song is the calm. Oh, I successfully climbed down from the crow's nest. I am basically a pro at this game now. You're already a pirate legend, the game just won't acknowledge it. Exactly.
<laughs> I will, of course. Oh, that's... that's Pog. <laughs> DQ's got a pretty... pretty baller skin. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's... that is a pretty cool skin. That's... that's pretty nice. Keep hatching the Roboot. As... as fancy as that is, you don't have Little Wizard. And Little Wizard is the true treasure. Uh, on the seven seas, right there. Hey, but no, no, do not shoot my cat out of the cannon. Little bit, don't do it. Oh. I am so disappointed in you, DQ. Yeah, I am so sorry about that, little wizard. Yeah. Little wizard got what was wizard coming to him. He looked at me funny. Oh, I promise never to sail with this pirate again, little wizard. Yeah, you're you're a good kitty. Heck, you know, Ralph I, I, from I'm the party, so he's getting any of the money. Um, did you you loaded everything up onto the rowboat? Okay, so you're already there. Sorry, I was doing cat shenanigans. Nice try. So, uh, you know, what have we learned here today? There, there should be a lesson, right? I guess. Uh, moral of the story, stealing things is okay if you have a really cool boat. <laughs> if you, I, you know, I, I think maybe we could develop sort of a new catchphrase, which is, if you ever get attacked by skeletons, eat a couple of bananas and you'll be fine. Bananas heal all wounds. Yes. Yes. So uh, I have Potter a generic chat. treasure chest. Where do I sell that? It just says treasure chest, but the gold hoarder doesn't want it. It might be empty. Oh, okay. Sell the things to him individually. Gotcha. I have 74,000 gold. Things are very... One point... So it's disgraced ah. skulls? Where do I sell those? Sure. Follow... I'm here. So follow you. There's every outfit. Always a... Okay. Drop it. Skulls. Okay. This person's great. Yeah. It's coming out of their eyeballs. <laughs> that's a that's a Halloween costume right there. That's what that is. Yeah. So you can sell the empty chest to the gold hoarder. Oh. Yeah. Just a little bit. You're right, that big thing. Yeah. Right. Okay, wait, are we are we ready to torch the ship? We're going with torching. Yeah, uh, we're, Alexa, well, Alexa can't, can't we just set it on fire, stand in the crow's nest, and play the song if it burns? Okay, yeah, I, I yeah. could do it. I, I think can, Alexa, I think Alexa, Alexa fire. Okay, let's let's get into the crow's nest before we throw our fire bombs. Oh, I made it. I'm out of food. Uh, I can't really see it. Ah! <coughs> oh my god! Oh my god! 
Well, we've got we've got time to sing a couple songs, sing a couple shanties, but this is kind of No, we don't we don't need dragons. We, we let the instruments <laughs> sing for us. Pirates, sea shanties. I'll we'll sing in the spirit. <laughs> Alright, Alexa, this is for you. <laughs> One song request before the ship gets scuttled. 1812. 1812. Oh, wizard was there to see it all. Yeah, I'm, I'm sad the little wizard had to see that. Oh, did Ralph die? I did, yeah. He, did, yeah. he fell out of the cross. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm, I'm on my way back. We gotta see the ship through Down the scuttle. with the ship. Oh. oh no, we didn't vote for emissary off mic. Go back. Well, I got an achievement for that. Who is that? Is that you, Ralph? Go, 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 go. Where, where? I'm following that you. Ghosting, yeah, Alexa. Maybe I don't get to get yeah. back on the ship. Well, the ship well, is... The ship is... Yeah. Already gone. Already gone. Oh. Wait, what's that shining thing out there? Probably a sword. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And I, I, I apparently I... respawned on an island with a brand new ship, so... Um... I, you know, I think that does it for us for Sea of Thieves tonight. Um, <laughs> thank you, Alexa, for pushing for the for the burning. It's nice that to find somebody with a strong opinion on that. Um, and thank you, everybody, for for joining us. Uh, specifically, DQ nine one one. Thanks for for taking me through another another game of Sea of Thieves. And Yard Jarm is from Peninsula College. Um, Mike, do you want to talk just like a, a short bit about what's going on at, at PC? Yes. So uh, Peninsula College 2020-2021 school year, we are keeping our Overwatch League of Legends and Rocket League teams active and ready to game. But we are also adding uh, competitive options for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, everybody's favorite battle royale, Fortnite, and Rainbow Six Siege, which I am the team captain of. So we have a lot more, a lot more options. We are in the second year of our program, and it's just, it's going to be a good time. We're hoping to maybe get back to a semi-normal out here, you know, global yeah. health conditions allowing. But we have yep. a great program. We have huge support from Peninsula College Athletics, and as always, you know, we here at Peninsula College love everyone down at Grays Harbor College. Have an awesome little. Lend Lease program where Ralph hangs out in our Discord and I yep. come on their streams and lower the quality by a couple of ticks. <laughs> the, the love goes both ways. Um, the, the help from both you and from Coach Morrow. And then some of the other members. I mean, we had Morningstar on here um, not too long ago helping us with Overwatch. Yep. Morningstar is a member of our Overwatch team. Yep. So um, thanks again, Mike. Thanks for stopping by and for playing Sea of Thieves with me. Uh, oh no! Happy to really happy cool to come to, around. I gotta live up to the Peninsula College pirate name. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all right, and with that, I will be off for the night. Thank you so much for having me on. I will talk to you all another time. Thanks, Mike. Well, I think that about does it for us here uh, Thursday night gaming. Um, Marcy, thanks again so much for for joining us for another fantastic gaming night. Next week we have Overwatch three v threes. 
Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. We've got a couple of new players that have reached out in the last couple of weeks to say, you know, tell me more about Overwatch. So to get to see some of them flex a little bit in Overwatch 3v3s, I think is going to be a lot of fun. Um, if the, is, there, is there anything I'm missing? No, just tune into Grace Harbor College graduation tomorrow night at 6 p.m. You can see that ETB slash graduation. And speaking of graduation, like um, just I, I know we're trying to close and get out of here. I gotta I gotta get some dinner and uh, you know feed my family. There were a couple of people that stopped by tonight that um, either had a final, or that had their last final and are graduated. I mean Jonathan Ayaku Abrams. Um, I know that uh, Alexa had some finals. Um, Card Kid had a final earlier today. Uh, to all the students out there who who are done with your finals, um, and to those I you know I hopefully nobody still has a final uh, hanging over their head. But um, good job, good job for making it this far and for getting through that and, and for continuing on your, your higher education goals. That is super awesome. And it's great to be as a, as a member of the staff uh, to bear witness to that work that you're doing. That's a smart investment. And you know, thank you for doing it. Cool, well I think, yeah, totally. Well, I think that's gonna do it for us here at GHC Esports. Thanks so much, we'll see you next week for Overwatch. Have a good night.